Hi guys, my name's Ivana and welcome to my channel. First of all, before I get started with this quick switching of the bags video, I just wanted to thank you guys for all of the very kind feedback that I got on my last video, which was kind of a impromptu vlog that I did. And I know I've vlogged in the past, but I haven't done it in a while and I guess I really didn't think people were interested, so I kind of stopped doing that and then I kind of stopped making videos, period, for a while. I just kind of slowed down a lot, but I got some great feedback from you guys and I just wanted to say thanks. And today I was just sitting around thinking, you know, I'm going to switch out of this bag because I haven't uh, switched out in a week. And it is the Kate Spade Small Rochelle in the color pebble and black and I do love this bag I really do I love the black trimmings and the black accents that's something that Dooney and Burke doesn't do very often they mostly trim in like a tan or a Sierra leather but when they do trim in black I just love it and so this one I just love the contrast I love the license plate logo I think that's what Kate Spade calls it no feet on the bottom but it's kind of like a an embossed pebbled leather. It's very durable and it's very weather friendly. So rain or shine, you can carry this bag. And so I've been carrying it for a week and it's been pretty much going with everything I wear. Well, black and pebble just goes with everything. But I was kind of getting bored and I thought it's time to switch. So, and I'm going to be switching into another non Dooney and Burke bag, but I've been seeing so many videos on YouTube lately from, um, you know, the high end, designer people that I watch. A lot of the Chanel, um, you know, minis and the Chanel bags and the little square minis and the rectangular minis and just all the quilted stuff going on on YouTube that I've been seeing that really just inspired me to reach for this bag. And I don't know, I don't carry it very often, but when I see it, I love it. It's just we're getting into springtime and color is the theme and so I'll show you here it is it is a Michael Kors bag it's got the silky dust bag another person inspired me to grab for this to reach for this bag also and that is Annie her channel bags come and bags go she just got this bag and so I thought you know why don't I ever reach for this one? It's such a pretty bag. But anyway, here is why I thought it really just didn't go with the theme of the spring season. It is the Michael Kors Sloan bag, and it's so pretty. I've got it with the gold hardware. I think Annie got hers with the silver. It's so pretty. And I'm really, I never thought I was a quilted kind of a girl. I just, quilting just never, it just never really, I guess I was just never into quilting. But for some reason, you know how YouTube can do stuff to you? Well, after seeing all the Chanel bags here and there, Chanel, 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 I started to like it. And this is very Chanel inspired. Let's just throw that right out there. And it's a Chanel inspired bag in my price point, so um, I went ahead and got it and I was wearing it a lot for like, um, you know, over the holidays for like Christmas dinner and things like that with friends. And so, um, then I kind of stopped reaching for it because to me it looks like a, just a very dressy bag with all this shine and black and gold, you know, it just looks dressy, but you know what? I'm going to throw all of that aside and I'm just going to say, carry it because like Mrs. Q says, if you want that bag, go get that bag. And if you have that bag, you carry that bag. Why am I yelling at you? All right, guys. So anyway, it's got one of these little push button one side. And I keep it stuffed. So let's just take everything out to prepare for what's going inside. Here are the chains. I keep them inside, which I will pull through, but there's the inside. It's a double compartment with a zipper, and then it's got a little, and I love that sound. And then this outside back pocket, which is very, very handy. This is what this one looks like. 
and it holds everything really well. It's just, I love the opening. I love reaching in and out and everything stays in its place. That is one of the best things about these kind of medium smaller bags that yeah, you can't carry a lot, but everything really does not have room to shift around. And I love that because I love knowing that everything is in its place. I'm not crazy like that, but you know, it's just easier to find everything. So I've got my the double sunglasses case. I've got this one again, which is holding all my lip products. And this wallet, which love this wallet from Kate Spade. This color red is like my favorite all-time color of red. And you know what? I would probably equate this to the Dooney and Burke geranium color. It is such and I want a color I want a bag in that color. I am gonna have a bag in geranium one of these days. I will. Look how gorgeous that is. I love this little wallet. Just holds all my cards and cash and everything and it's got a snap closure and it's just so fun. It's Safiano leather. Then just I've got some gum. I've got some receipts which I can actually take out. I've got my oils, gotta have my oils. Some mints I found in my nightstand drawer. I don't know how old they are, but they still taste okay. And some paperwork. So I don't think I need to carry all that anymore. And I've been carrying this pouch because hello, it's springtime. And a lotion. And then as I always do in this, any back zipper pocket of my bag, I carry my earbuds. And that is it. All empty. This bag's very light too, so it's very comfortable to carry. I carried it shopping last Sunday to the mall and carried it on one shoulder. Did not do crossbody because while it can go crossbody, I just prefer to carry it on my shoulder and it was so comfortable it didn't even hurt or anything. So I don't think I'm going to be able to fit all this stuff in here. I know I'm going to want to put the earbuds in the back pocket, zipper pocket. So I'll just start with that. Great organization in this bag, you guys. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, this is not going to work. It takes up the whole back section. So... I think what I'm going to do is pare down what's in here and try to fit it into here because this is a little bit smaller and it doesn't have the whole strap attachment and everything. So let's try to, oh, I've got stuff in this thing. I oh, my Vera Bradley pen that I want. I don't know why I have, oh my goodness. I totally lost this stuff and I'm so glad I found it. Under Armour gift card. I could have used that around naturalizer that's expired. Insurance cards. Carry that in my car anyway, so that's okay. Lotto tickets. Maybe I'm a millionaire. Okay, so in here I've got a lot of stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit. I've got this is what I've, ooh, that looks cute. This is where I've got my insurance cards and all of the stuff that goes with insurance. So if I put that in here, it does fit. It's right up to the top. And let's see, I've got this, my spray, um, Kleenex. I, pre I need to carry Kleenex with me all the time, so I'm gonna stick that in here. I've got my mom's house keys. I gotta have these picks. I have to have those picks because it just drives me crazy to have stuff stuck between my teeth. TMI, TMI. Vitamins and ibuprofen and stuff like that. I try not to take painkillers just because I, I don't think they're good for you. But sometimes you gotta have it, and a lot of times my husband has to have it, so I better carry it with me. So this is already getting pretty tight, 
and I might just take this out and carry it separately. Some cough drops, which I don't think I need anymore this time of year. We're kind of getting out of the season. And um, a bobby pin and a Band-Aid and some essential oil samples. So that's a lot of stuff in here, but it fits. Oh, and a rubber band. And another Band-Aid. But yeah, this fits very nicely and it's not too bulky. So let's see if we can fit that in here. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stick this in the front because it's a roomier pocket. And in the, in the center zip compartment, which I hope I remember to take this out of this bag because I'm not used to center zip pockets and I might just forget that it's in here. So hopefully I won't, but I'm gonna put that in there. And let's see, maybe I'll just carry this separately on the side right there. And what else do I have? I've got my oils, which maybe I'll put in the back section. I've got my mints, which I don't know if I'm going to carry because it's already getting tight and I haven't even put this in there yet. And I haven't even put this in there and I haven't even put my wallet in there. So we'll stick the wallet back there and the lotion next to the black pouch. The gum, you know what, there's some pockets in the front I have not even utilized yet. So I've got the gum in that little pocket. This, you know, I may not even be able to carry my sunglasses, which is fine because a lot of times I used to leave them in my car and it's not that hot yet, but um, I have had some cracks in the lenses of some of my, my one pair of Warby Parker sunglasses and she told me the heat from sitting in the car might have done that. So I don't want to ruin my glasses. Maybe I can stick in this pocket. It actually fits in there, but I don't want to break them. So they could go in the center zip also, but the things you do to try to carry some bags sometimes, I tell you, I'm having to reorganize everything that I carry. This will actually sit on top like this and it will still close. So, but I still haven't fit this in there and I don't think all of this is going to fit. I'm going to take out some of the lip products because, you know, I don't always even wear them. And why am I carrying so many products with me? My favorite lipstick currently is this one by Young Living. And it's a purple-ish kind of a shimmer called Uptown Girl. And I think I showed this in a recent video, but this one suits me. I think it suits my skin tone really well. So I've been wearing this one like every day. So maybe since this is slim, I will use my Dooney and Burke little thing. and uh, My lavender lip balm. And then I've been wearing this pink one also. And I'm not much of a... lip gloss girl because it gets too goopy on me and I can't stand goopy lips. I like them to feel dry, but I don't like them to look dry. I don't know, these two I haven't been wearing very much since I got my Young Living lipsticks, so let's just see how this goes. I could probably I could still fit the lip gloss in there because everything's flat. Everything's laying down. Alrighty. Alrighty. I sound so old. Okay, everything is rearranged. So I put my oils in this front pocket instead. I put um, the pouch and my wallet in the back. I put my mints up front with that case and the lotion there and my insurance cards are in the center pocket and everything fits nicely and if I need to put my glasses I can put them 
right on top. But I have to struggle and stretch to close it and look at how poofy it got. So maybe I'll just carry the sunglasses and leave them in my car. It's not that hot. It's going to be like in the 50s and low 60s this weekend. And so I'll probably carry this through the weekend. And I really want my husband to go with me to see this a band tomorrow night at the casino that's by our house. But he's grumbling about it so if we go this will be a cute bag to bring maybe it's even too big for something like that I need like a little crossbody so all right guys so there it is switching of the bag into my Sloan from Michael Kors from this one from Kate Spade I forgot already what it is and back here I would just stuff my cell phone into the back pocket it's another work from home day, guys. Don't judge. Kind of hangs low on me. I really prefer them to be up higher, but you can also. This is hangs really low on the shoulder. It's way down by the side of my thigh, the bottom of the bag almost reaches my knee. So when you do wear it with that, you kind of have to wear it crossbody. And it's okay to be crossbody, but it's it's kind of bulky to me. But that's it, guys. All switched. I most likely carry it on the shoulder like this with the short strap. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.